Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my spring book haul. I always love doing these like kind of mid quarterly book hauls or sometimes monthly just when I receive a huge pot of books either from purchased or from publishers and I like to just show you what is new, what's up, what's up and coming and some books that I just had to buy because I rarely buy books these days with being sent it or just borrowing books on libraries or like audiobooks. Um, but so I just want to show you some of the books that I picked up but also some books that were kindly gifted to me from publishers and authors. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so we're going to start with some books that I purchased myself. Some of these I've already read. The first one is Days of Distraction by Alexander Chang, one book that I cannot stop recommending to people. This book is basically a portrait of a young Chinese American woman as she's just navigating her life. It's just very much they're kind of like diary entries and I think this book is written in such a unique way. It's written in kind of vignettes. Um, so I think it's an interesting and unique writing choice but also I felt like, and a lot of people have said this too, that she's basically writing our thoughts. Like it's like she's she's reading our mind and writing our thoughts all in this book. So I would highly recommend it if you're looking for more Asian American literature to read. Speaking of Asian American literature, another book that I picked up that I had to buy, one of my 2021 releases that I was super excited about is Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. If you're not going to buy this book because of the contents, I think you should just buy it for the cover because the cover is the most stunning thing I've ever seen. It has the two sisters on the front and the back and in between it is them holding hands which I think is just so unique, so great. This book also though is great. I have a whole reading vlog for it so I'll link it in the description. Essentially it follows two estranged sisters who come back together and they kind of reunite after one sister is diagnosed with uterine cancer. Um, just a really raw and touching story. I really can't read it now because of like like you know, I read it because uterine cancer was something that I was exper like that my family member was experiencing and now it's just too hard to even look at this book um but this book is just amazing I love it so much and I highly recommend it the next book that I have is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This book I have another reading vlog also. I've been doing so many reading vlogs lately so if you haven't seen them I will link all of them down below for you to just watch. This book was just a nice warm hug. I essentially, I don't want to tell you what it's about because I feel like you should go into it not knowing anything. That's kind of how I did. Also the synopsis is pretty, it's pretty vague because what this story actually unfolds is just so beautiful and magical. Highly recommend it if you kind of like, it's kind of magical realism I wouldn't say like totally but it is I would classify as like kind of contemporary as well but there are some fantastical elements so I would highly recommend this book the next book that I bought was A Sand County Almanac by Aldo Leopold. I actually got this at the bookstore that I work at secondhand, so it's a used book. And I just bought it because um, I read this book for a classics class, I think in my freshman year, and I just enjoyed it and it was used, so I decided to pick up a copy to, for my collection. This book is just basically a diary entry of Aldo Leopold kind of exploring nature. Um, there's just some really interesting like hot takes in there, but there's also a lot of like very a very privileged lens of nature. Um, I just find it really interesting to read now like comparing it to like modern literature on the environment. It's super interesting. Definitely give it a go if you like descriptions about nature and if you like illustrations. There are some beautiful illustrations in here. Um, but yeah this is just like the mass market paperback and I'm excited to have it a part of my collection. Oof, this next book. Okay, the next book that I bought, first of all, this book is super expensive, so I would definitely recommend like getting it from a library or maybe audiobook or Kindle edition or something, but Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorst. I cannot wait for my April wrap-up where I get to gush and gush about this book. This is the best fantasy, best YA, is this YA? I'm not sure. This is the best fantasy I've read this year, other than the fifth season, because the fifth season is just god tier and you can't compare anything to that, but if you're looking for something very similar in in the aspect of like reading wise, like reading experience wise, I wouldn't say they're ex they're similar in any way in plot or you know structure. Um, but Black Sun, oh, amazing, amazing characters. Essentially, this book is inspired by pre-Columbian America society. Um, 
there are a lot of really great just amazing things that the author is putting here from her own research um, and essentially I don't want to give it away because it is a fantasy book and I go into fantasy books not really knowing anything but essentially you follow just this cast of characters as they all revolve their lives revolve around this one prophecy that's so it's frustrating and it's also the best thing ever because you don't really know what that prophecy is you don't know what is gonna happen in the end up until the end and then you're just like pining for book two Highly recommend this if you're looking for a fantasy book. This also features some non-binary non, non and queer side characters um, and our main character. So yeah, just, just pick this up, please. Please. If you can just borrow it too, I recommend that. But I just had to snag a hard copy for myself because this is one of my favorite books of all time now. So the next books that I have here are books that I received from publishers. I believe these are already out. So I the, the next few books that I'm featuring in this haul are all books that were sent to me by publishers or authors. Um, but these first few are ones that are already out. The first one is one that I received in the, uh, what was it? The book box, the self-care unplugged book box for the month of March. And it is If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Carr. I really don't know what it's about. I apologize for not doing the research for this book. I, I actually like forgot that I got this because I got it in a book box. Um, but this one just sounds really interesting because I did take a flip through and it is it's like multimedia. There's like some verse, some illustrations kind of, um, pictures, and it's also in narrative form, like prose form. So that is super interesting to me. I love books these days that just like, you know, move around in form and structure and style. So I'm excited to somehow pick this up. So the next book that I have is Love Like That by Emma Duffy Comperone. This one is super cute. This is sent to me by Henry Holt. Um, and it's super short, but this is a short story collection about women and just in powerful situations, women dealing with love, the complicated relationships, all of that. I love the cover, first of all. Um, also, I'm really getting into short story collections I'll talk about it a little bit because I have another short story collection a little bit like short story um, but I've just been super into them lately I've read two this month already so I'm excited to get to this so the next book that I have here is the phone booth at the edge of the world by Laura Imai Messina this one was sent to me by the overlook press I forgot what in print that is from um, but anyway this was sent to me by a publisher this is actually translated from the from Italian, I believe. Um, this book essentially, I know it's just, I know I'm gonna sob when I read this book. It's essentially based, inspired by this real disused telephone booth in Japan that people go to in order to talk to their lost loved ones. Um, I recently lost a family member and I have just been dealing with that. So like, I like, and probably I'm not ready for this book, but I know that one day I'm gonna need it so badly. I really wanna go to the telephone booth. Um, but essentially our main character lost her, I believe, daughter who loses her mother and daughter in the tsunami and she makes a pilgrimage to this telephone booth that is inspired by the real one. Um, so this just sounds amazing. It's super, it looks, it looks pretty chunky but the font is actually pretty big so I'm excited to get to this one soon when I'm ready of course um, but I know it talks a lot about grief and loss and just hope too so I'm very excited for this. Okay, the next book that I have here is The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. This was sent to me in a really cool package by H HMH. Um, it's super interesting. I did, I've never heard of this book before receiving it. I love when publishers send me books that I haven't heard of just because it's, it's always nice kind of finding new books. That's sometimes how I find those treasures. Um, I tried looking this one up on Goodreads and the synopsis is kind of like vague or just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm not gonna explain it. I'll leave all links in the description, but this is essentially a dark fantasy kind of reminiscent of S.J. Moss and Saba Tahir, which honestly I love Saba Tahir, so I might pick this one up. Don't know yet. I might donate it as well because I'm not really in the mood for some dark fantasy. But anyway, I just wanted to bring this up for if you guys have never heard of it. Apparently, if you're a fan of S.J. Moss and Saba Tahir, you will like this book. Okay, and the next book is Who Is Maude Dixon by Alexandra Andrews. This was sent to me by, I keep forgetting who sends me these books. This was sent to me by Little Brown. I am super excited for this. If you watched my April TBR video, this book essentially follows our main character Florence who is who thinks that she's destined to become a celebrated writer and she gets the opportunity of a lifetime to work as an assistant for Maude Dixon, the, the pseudonym, Maude Dixon who is a pseudonym for this girl named Helen. 
Maude Dixon is this celebrated writer, everything that Florence wants to be. Um, so when Helen takes Florence on this like trip, this research trip, and Helen ends up dying, Florin kind of is stuck in this position where she kind of like sees the opportunity to take over the name of Maude Dixon and become Maude Dixon. Um, this is super interesting. It's marketed as a psychological thriller slash mystery and I mentioned in that as well this is kind of like I'm a broken record but it's just the synopsis sounds so interesting. I'm wondering how that psychological element will play in this book. Um, so anyway I'm super excited for this and I really hope I can get to it soon. I'm currently not in the mood for psychological thriller. I've been reading a lot of contempts lately, um, but I hope to get to this soon. Okay, and the following books are books that they are, they were sent to me by publishers, but these are all books that do not come out for a while. Most of them are summer releases, um, but they were arcs that were sent to me from publishers or books that haven't come out yet. Um, so the first one is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This book I already had the pleasure of reading in a really early copy of an arc that didn't have a cover on it. I mentioned it I think in a wrap up in the past. Um, this book is absolutely amazing. If you have not heard of this book before. It is essentially a witch book but these witches are like seasonal witches and it's a super unique magic system where they are kind of bound to their season um, but our main character is an ever witch and she kind of controls the powers of all the season um, and the witches in this book are basically have maintained the climate of this society so humans know they exist and they coexist and it's beautiful, it's magical, it's lyrical and it's it talks a lot about like environmental degradation and climate change. It's just so beautiful and if you pre-order this book I swear I'm like a walking telemarketer for this book because I love it so much but if you pre-order this book now actually there's a pre-order campaign that for every pre-order one tree is planted which Rachel Griffin is my fave I follow her on Instagram and she's just my fave she comes up with the best stuff and it's just so interactive with her readers so I anyway I'm super excited I am gonna pre-order a copy of this book but if you have not already definitely do so because this is amazing Okay, so the next book was actually, it's actually an independent published book, self-published book, sent to me by an author named Sylvia Kim. It is The Extraordinary Lives of Blue Haven. This book was super interesting. I really love when authors email me and are interested in just sending me their book and just really passionate, um, especially from this Asian author who is self-published. This is essentially following, I think, four teens as they kind of meet at this, their lives collide at this shelter called Blue Haven. It takes place during Austin, Texas during the Great Recession of 2008. If any of that interests you, I will leave links to where you can buy it in the description because I just think it's awesome to support self-published authors. Um, but yeah, thank you so much Sylvia for sending me your book. It was really sweet the message that you left um, in my inbox, so I always I always just love receiving messages from authors. So I'm excited to get to this. I was really struck by the cover because it's so simple. It reminds me of something like Ruby Carr, um, but it's just, I love the yellow. The yellow is, yellow is my color, so anything with that I'm happy to look at. Okay, so the next book that I have here is In the Watchful City by S. Cho Yi Li, Lu, sorry. Um, this book recently came, I think it came last week, and then I brought it with me um, when I went away for the weekend, and I read it, like, already. This one comes out in August. It was sent to me by Tor Books. Thank you, Tor Books, for sending this to me. I know that Tor publishes a lot of really great sci-fi fantasy novellas, and they're always so interesting, and I've always looked at them and wanted to read them, but I've never done it. But they sent me this one and I was really interested because it's in, it's an Asian inspired like bio cyberpunk story that takes place in this world that is heavily surveyed. Or yeah, the city of Aura uses a complex living network called the Gleaming to surveil its inhabitants and maintain harmony. So based off of that, um, super interesting. It is centered around trans, non-binary, non-binary, queer, and Chinese coded identities and it talks uh, just, it's just a transcendent book. That's one of the words my friends who read this book used to describe it and I would also say the same. It reminds you of how inexplicably human you are but it's also just so transformative and transcendent and I really love this. I'm going to talk more about it in my wrap up because this is not a wrap up video but this book is awesome. You should definitely pre-order. I really love supporting um, 
like novellas anyway because they don't get as much attention as novels so definitely one to look out for okay and these next four books they are literally oh, so beautiful like these are four up-and-coming Asian identity books I'm super excited about we're gonna go through them one by one the first one is Tokyo Ever After by Emma Gojean this one is May 2021 so next month I've already done so much promo for this but essentially it is the Princess Diaries meets Crazy Rich Asians in a book about a girl who finds out that she is the crown princess of Japan in high school amazing I just am so excited for this um, so we got this one and then we got honey and issues guide to fake dating by Adiba Jagardar I feel like I've talked about this one in a book haul if not I'm hauling it again follows two um, South Asian main characters um, and it's a, has bisexual rep as well and basically um, one of the girls is comes out as bisexual to her friends and her friends kind of dismiss it so in order so like you know she thinks that she has to prove it so she says that she's dating this other girl named Ishu um, so they create this fake dating relationship super interesting very excited to get to this the next one is Made in Korea by Sarah Sook. This one, love the cover. This is, follows two Korean American teens who I believe are, have like competing Korean beauty businesses. So like, I don't really know, that's kind of what, yeah. Stakes are high as Valerie and Wes try to outsell each other. So they, they basically sell um, like Korean K-pop beauty branded branded product products at their school and they are competing so oh I don't know what this reminds me of but it just sounds it sounds amazing so I'm excited to pick this up and the last book in this haul is actually my current read it is How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao this is pitched as dark academia meets crazy rich Asians meets one of us is lying so it's like Asian dark academia which I have not seen a lot of I know there are some books with like that those kind of themes but I haven't seen much of it's super interesting so far I find the characters uh, the characters are interesting um, but our main character is Nancy is one of the girls who kind of is they go it's like takes place in this elite prep school and so she's kind of like not very her parents aren't that wealthy so she's kind of like the odd one out excited to see how it goes but I would definitely give this a pre-order if you're interested and I will leave all links in the description so that was it for my book haul. I hope you just relished all of these books that I talked about because I am super excited. There is not enough time in the world to read all of these books and be excited about them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like and give this video a comment if you're interested in any of these as well. Um, I will leave all buy links in the description and Goodreads links and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see you on my next video. Bye!